Listen, man. Oh, God, my mom's gonna watch it. She's gonna kill me because I already know she go. She gonna ask, and I might have to record it just to get a reaction. I mean, it's not a. It's not that big. <laughs> what? Poor. I put this on everything. Party people. I love it's your boy. My face and my clothes. Mm, what yes. this? I thought I told you this is my world, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, party people in the place to be is your boy M A Z I. Yes, sir. We ain't here. I got allergies. Listen, allergies are undefeated out here, man. Never lost. I don't care how much medication you take. It just seems like they adapt and That's they take fact, over. Bro. Fuck COVID. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's allergies that like that shit's never gonna die. That's bro. straight up, man. Straight up. So if y'all, so if y'all hear me sniffling and and sneezing and whatnot, apologies. Forgive them. Forgive yeah, me. Listen, especially everybody here in the city, y'all know what's going on, so it should be expected. Absolutely, there's some people out there listening right now, just suffering, going through it. Just <laughs> they got a box of tissue in front of them right now. <laughs> I've been at work before like this. Everything all right? <laughs> no, send me home. <laughs> But they, th- they think I'm going through this some shit. Like, nah, fam, I'm fucking, I mean, I guess I am with these allergies. With these allergies, man. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, man. It's terrible. So, uh, first off, I know the people that's watching on via YouTube, shout out to y'all. Shout out to the YouTube viewership. Y'all see the shirt that I have on, man. It's the official Mozzie's World. Nine Clouds Up collab. I see that. I see that Big shouts out to Mario, Gabe And also shout out to my partner Rosser Who helped design the big head You know what I mean Oh, um, I see what you did Hey, what's up, big head ah, the, ah, yeah, man. Ah, We know what that means Ain't know the vibes Hope, let's, man, I ain't about to get in trouble Nah, you knew what time it was when they <laughs> called you that when, they, when she called you that Hey, big head oh, Nah, man. yeah, you know what time it is Yeah, man Stop playing Listen, man, so these will be available soon Via 9closeup.com And be sure to use the new The new promo code M-A-Z-I-22 Mozzie22 That's the new promo code To get you 10% off this shirt You know what I mean? And all the other merch that's there as well Screws, what's going on, man? How, how was your weekend? Busy, man. Just yeah. working, editing. But uh, other than that, man, just big chilling. Yeah, my weekend was uh, definitely kind of cool. Just, I mean, we're working, really. And listening to the the music that's been coming out and dropping. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Psh, we're we'll we'll, we, we going to get into that. We're right. going to get into that later. But first and foremost, uh, this is the recap episode uh, for the month of April. So we're going to run down some of the episodes that y'all have tuned into um, and first and foremost, uh, Ricky Ortiz, man. Great, great episode. We got a lot of good feedback on that. Yes. Not just from, I mean, we get good feedback in general, but this, we got a lot of feedback from his community, which is the small business owners, the food trucks and all that, man. They really fucked with us for, yeah. ha- for having Ricky on and, and thank him, you know, for coming on. Absolutely. So. Shout out to Ricky. Matter of fact, let's run a clip real quick. You know, with what I've done. And, and and again, I don't got it all figured out, man. I'm not trying to be some, you know what I'm saying, guru of anything, man. I'm just, it definitely sounds like I'm, it. No, nah, I'm just a dude that made a fuck ton of mistakes and like and had a couple wins. Like, that's all it is. I've taken a shitload of shots, missed a lot of them, and made a few. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a ton of failed failed projects and failed businesses. Back in the day, I couldn't even focus on nothing for more than a day or two before I move on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing that I've learned over time, I think, is... Is definitely you know after getting put through the ringer with with uh, opening El Camino and learning the hard way and struggling is patience. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. you know perfect timing. You know what I'm saying? Like work on your timing. And, and my dad tells me be deliberate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know if you're gonna make your move, like do it all the way and 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 have intention behind it. That's another that's another gem, man, for sure. You know, I mean, yeah, man. I mean, there's there's no the gems that he dropped, man. Were like invaluable. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot. And even as of late, I've been tuning into his posts a lot more lately, and just yeah. seeing, kind of seeing what's going on. And he's still dropping gems left and right. It's just I, I hope people pick him up and, and catch him and run with him. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And for those that either know him or personally or not, he's actually fucking hilarious. Very hilarious. I don't know if y'all if you you follow him on Facebook. Right? Yes, dog. He is a, a character. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my guy Ricky, man. He, Absolutely, he's dope, man. And uh, we're looking forward to that podcast, man. I'm definitely looking forward to that and more of the business ventures and opportunities that he has available as well, man. Absolutely. I'm I'm tuned in. 
I ain't gonna front, but if I wasn't so busy, I'd work there. I'd work at the El Camino. Yeah? Yeah. Specifically at the corn section. Yeah, just kicking it. <laughs> Bro, I'd be. Elotes! <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, man. Straight up and down. Also, we had, is it fair to say that the street's favorite? I think so, man. I think I think the people spoke, and obviously they're familiar with her. Yeah, man. But she's notorious in her own right. Yeah. And she did not disappoint, man. Did not disappoint. We're talking about Tattoo Lily, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, congratulations on her recent... Uh, yes. Yeah, you know I mean? Her recent acquittals of everything. She's free and clear. Yeah. Ain't no more locked doors, as no she more, says. No <laughs> more locked doors. You know what I mean? Straight you up know? and down. We, we outside with it. But I'll tell you what she did do. She dropped, she dropped some gems on here as well. And, of course, you know, everything going on in her life. We'll run into that clip right now. And be apologetic. But it's like, man, we're doing a show at the end of the day. You know, half the shit, I, like, I feel like half the shit that I entertained in real life, I really don't give a fuck. You know? Right. But at the end, I was... We were all trying to survive, and one of the models that I got told apparently to make it was I either had to fuck or fight. So, you know, it's wow. grimy. It's really wow. grimy, you know, that, that I guess you will hear all those interviews about the industry, and I know the music industry is one thing, but that yeah. TV shit, that shit's something else, too. Nah, that's just a whole other beast, for real. Yeah. Especially there's a lot of creeps in the industry, too. You know, yeah. that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That shit crazy. Well, I'm, so I mean, what y'all think I chose? I had to fight. I wasn't gonna fuck nobody. <laughs> 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 <If it> was- <laughs> get these hands. Get boy. these hands, get man. These hands, Buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, cause damn, they wanted me to pass that shit around. Like, nah, boy, we fighting over here, cause. Virgo gang. Oh, Virgo gang. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all gang banging now. It's hey, Virgo bro. gang. <laughs> <laughs> Lily. What more can you say? Just full of energy. Absolutely. She definitely uh, embodies the city of San Antonio, if you ask me. Like, That's a fact, bro. That's an absolute fact, for real. And she, I mean, it's crazy because even the clips that we were dropping during the week, like her fan base really pulled up in the comment section was yep. really the, just the, the support and everything. People are really rooting for her out here. And speaking of, um, she pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> what she do to you, man? Listen, man. Um, God, my mom's gonna watch it. She gonna kill me because I already know she go. She gonna ask, and I'm gonna have to record it just to get a reaction. I mean, it's not a. It's not that big for your first tattoo. She gave a little small, little small tat. You know what I'm saying? Come <laughs> stay the night with the real one. It's a lot of fake love in LA. That ain't no small tat, man. <laughs> <laughs> You said I'm going to get tatted by Lena. I was like, that's hard. That's what's up, man. Yeah, Check man. it off the bucket list, all that good shit. But yeah, bro, when I pulled up and she put the stents on you, like I was like, yo, fam, Listen, respect, though, bro. Man, respect. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. I know y'all seen the clip right now. Like, yo, this man is crazy for his first tattoo and getting a chest piece. And the first thing I want to know, did it hurt? Yes. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Y'all low-key kind of hyped it. Oh, was going to hurt. I mean, listen, granted, I'm talking mess because I had numbing cream. <laughs> did it work? It worked though. Yeah, it did. It did right, work. Man. Um, it worked. But I, I did. I'll tell you what. It did start to wear off when she started doing the shading on the LA oh, to yeah. make it bold and the outline. Yeah, like that yeah. was like. I mean, there's a reaction. You'll y'all see. Y'all see the whole video soon because we got it all recorded. And um, as we normally, as do. we normally do, you know what I mean. We don't walk without the cameras on. Y'all know. <laughs> um, yeah, y'all will see that footage soon. But uh, other than that, man, session two will be on the way. And um, yeah, y'all will be able to see the finished product, and it, it's it's gonna be fire, if you ask me. Absolutely, I think it's gonna be incredible. And then the following week after that, we had Eastside Zone, Eastside Fish, and it be, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Tree Team, absolutely. Sage, Reek, what up? Yo, and not a, and this is not a knock on anyone else in the city, of course. I'm just giving flowers to those that I've recently came For sure. across, but. From what they, because mind you, they played us records after the show. Yes, they played us bounce, which is has been dropped since. But like, besides that, they played us a bunch of other ones that yes. were just incredible. So that whole team, the whole tree team, Sage Reek, like all of them boys out there, man. Like, to me, what I heard was like industry standard. Play it in front of any A and R, and they're gonna raise an eyebrow. Kind Absolutely, of shit. I've never heard shit like that. Never, here. never. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them, man. I'm shout out to forward. them. No, nah, for sure, man. Uh, matter of fact, let's run a clip real quick. A year from now, what we looking like? 
Man, I'm trying to be out of here, man. Like, I'm trying to be somewhere where we shit can change some motherfucking lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? For our families, for for the city, all that shit, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I think I got the music and the and everything to go with it to to get that shit accomplished. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm on a year from now. We going to be... I ain't going to say we going to be super up, but we going to be up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So, Esau Fish, Sir. Sage, uh, another three-peat out now on all DSPs. Uh, yeah, I think Bounce was actually the best record to lead off with. <laughs> yes, for the for the summer. And yes, yes, absolutely. And shout out to the video. The video was fun. Video was very fun. And listen, forgive me. Homeboy with the deep voice, the, the, the boys to men guy. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name, but and, and forgive me. Listen, but he's key. Absolutely. I like bro. him. <laughs> I think he's dope. Yeah, bro. What did I tell Sage? I was like, y'all got your own big room, bro. Yeah, like, y'all got your own big room. Yeah, that's man. Hard, that man. was super hard, man. Shout out to him. Salute. Um, but yeah, man, uh Esau Fish doing his thing. The the rebrand is strong, bro. And um I'm I'm glad to see he's back active. You know what I mean? And, sure, and really man. doing his thing out here musically. It's gonna yeah. be super dope. And he's and and uh, a, a big part. Or what I got a lot of his episode too was positivity, man. Yes. And when you lead with positivity, bro, it's just you just gotta be patient. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean, so. especially with the, I mean, if of course if y'all listened or watched the episode, you know, you heard you know the trials and tribulations that he went through and sure. the ups and the downs and you know the buzz being up there and then taking a break and then you know catching his case and basically be on another low and then going back to being another high, which he's on the high right now. If you ask me, absolutely. Um, the sky's the limit for uh, for Eastside Fish, man. So I agree. Fish, what up? Big ups to you, man. You doing your thing, G? By three, cut. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yo, that California record is crazy. <laughs> oh man! And then the most recent episode, another uh, champion I, of the people. If I you gotta will. say real quick, bro, we hit we hit them in April. We, if if you ain't tuned in by now, listen, dog, listen, listen. And you know I don't talk shit. Talk bro. to him. You know I don't talk shit. But if you ain't tuned in by now, if you didn't sub, if you didn't like, if you weren't weren't aware of what Mozzie's world is in April, bro. It's, I mean, I don't know what to say. April was a hell of a month, man. Absolutely. Hell of a month. A lot of gems, a, a lot of dope content, dope music, just dope dope people in general, man. Absolutely. But we had Bamsworth Belly fall through Come on. Amazi's world, man. And, uh, yo, not only was it a dope episode, but he pulled up with like 10... <laughs> <laughs> 10, 11, 10, 11 of them. 10, 11 of them. We know made it mean? work. It was a vibe. <laughs> it was a vibe. It was very dope. All good energy. Yes. Uh, shout out to everyone who pulled up. Uh, Mackenzie specifically because he sat next to me and broke my heart. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? If you saw the episode, you know why. You know exactly why. He sold me. He sold me, man. He's, he sold us all. McKenzie. He sold me. I was like, "Word, man!" I'm looking dead in the camera. He know he he knew what happened. I mean, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. If not, go back and tune in. You know what I mean? But uh, speaking of, let's get into the clip real quick. Bamsworth Belly, what would your current self now tell to your former self? I wouldn't do shit different. Mm. I wouldn't do one thing different. Like not one thing. Yeah. Like all my scrapes and bumps. Like the whole like time off. Like I wouldn't do. Damn Hold your thing. water. Tell mm-hmm. me. Hold yeah. your water Stay yeah. <laughs> I think that was the best thing We told ourselves now, Like back then For sure Like fucking It's some people I wish was still here Yeah You know what I'm saying But that's it I wouldn't change nothing Damn That's hard No that that's real <sighs> Bam Another talented individual That's That's basically Overcome Adversity Adversity That's Yes per- Perfect word Skrills yeah. um, Adversity and he he's done it all, yeah. and I and I think the sky's the sky's the limit for this cat as well. Mm-hmm. Him him and Knots too. Shout out to Knots oh, yeah. as well. Um, very talented individual. Also shout out to Juan as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, man, we pulling up soon on them bikes. Yeah, we definitely pulling up soon on them bikes. I'm wheelies and all that. I'm trying to meet Mill, do the meet Mill thing on the electric <laughs> bikes, bro. Yeah, right. I'm about to bust my ass out here in these streets. I hate I hate using the word legendary because it was yeah. you know what I mean. It's Used very loosely Right But It really was 
I think it's one of those legendary episodes where it was like, yeah. you know what I mean? Now, we definitely touched on certain points that you don't really hear. And again, not knocking anybody, but you don't really hear that here as far as podcasts or anything similar to it. Right. Uh, but there's some things that we touched on in that episode that isn't widely accepted or talked about. And yes. We, and we were trying to break that mold. And, we, and shout yeah. out to Bam for being open and expressing yes. that to us. And for the listeners and viewers at home, um, that was that was big of him. You know what I mean? Just, and and it, it just shows you what kind of person he is, what kind of person Bam is, and letting people know that he's just as human as everybody else here. You know what I mean? And it's dope to see people that look like you, look like us, and right. it is really doing it out here. Absolutely. And I think that was pretty much the, the key thing in this episode was people that look like you and I out here being successful. So guys like Ricky, Juan, Bam, Fish, Lily, we just we out here just doing what we can to really make it out here, make it possible. Yep, that's a fact. And, and we out here doing it, man. So shout out, shout out, Bamsworth, Belly, Fish, Lily, Ricky, everybody that was on here this month. Yes, incredible month of April. Incredible, and this will be a, a recurring factor where, where we'll recap the month just like we are now. Yes, just to kind of let people know, man. Give them the cliff notes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go check out episode X Y Z, whatever. Yes. And yeah, man. Thank y'all for tuning in for sure. Absolutely. Thank each and every one of y'all. So, and I've also heard the whispers and talks as well. Y'all have been hitting me, texting me, um, DMs, all that. What happened to the original Mozzie's World format with the music reviews, mm. the movie reviews, mixtape, fun, fun, the, fun, the, fun, the, all, all that stuff. I heard y'all. And we got it right here. Listen, man. <laughs> music releases, music reviews. Yeah. Man, which I, album you want to get into first, bro? I think there's only one. They mad at us. Who wouldn't be? We became everything you couldn't be. Push a T. It's almost dry. Listen, man. This album is incredible. Bro, I from a pusher fan, to me, I think he stepped out of the box with this one. Yeah, he really did. I mean, yes, the Coke talk, perfection. We all know this. Luxury luxury Coke rap at its finest. That's I've what never what wanted call. to sell drugs more in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I hear, when I, when I hear push, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's a fact. Listen, from Kanye's production, the Neptunes. Yes, I said Neptunes because it's Pharrell and Chad on this one, which is super hard. I, I know you kind of had a, uh, I don't want to say a hot take, but you definitely had a, a Pretty strong opinion. Kanye's, if I'm not mistaken, four records that he produced on here? Correct. Yeah, I still haven't fact-checked how many he did on there, but there was, I think, 12 records mm -hmm. all together. And what I was saying was that let's just say that the Neptunes produced eight of them and, and uh, Kanye produced four. I just feel like his four would equal to, if not be greater than their eight. Yeah. Just because, like, I don't know, man. Like, he's batshit crazy. We all know that and see sure. that now, but like, there's no denying that he's a genius, a musical genius. When like, it comes to what he bro. does, because I'll tell you what, Diet Coke was a strong single to start with, absolutely. And and shout out to 88 Keys as well for that beat being what nine years old. I think that's what they said in the streets. Yeah, and I didn't know until you told me that. But yeah, that's man, crazy. that's crazy. And then they just heard it, it was like, yo, throw it on there, and then Pusha T, bro, Pusha T being Pusha T, rapping, rapping his butt off, dog, and. <laughs> And then back door with neck and wrist with Jay Z, strong record. Then we got the album drop. And then we get records like Rock and Roll with Kanye and Cuddy. No, my no, my favorite. Well, I mean, it's between that and the uh, what's the other one? Just to, just remember me. Just yeah, that joint. It's between those two for me, Rock and Roll or that one. Yeah. But day of, I gave it a good solid. I don't know three runs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is fairly short for twelve records. You know what I'm saying? Right, for sure. It's crazy how music is getting shorter and shorter these days, but I guess that's, that's right. the attention span right. talking. Algorithm. Algorithms, all that. And then if you ask me, one of my favorite records on there is uh, I Pray. I think that's the record with Malice. Bro, it was so good to hear. Is that his big brother? Big brother. Okay, so it was, I mean, bro, for the longest I told you, I thought they were twins. I, listen, I thought they were twins as well. Um, but yeah, the fact that they're not kind of still surprises me to this day. Right. Um, <laughs> but either way. I just want to recognize Malice because everybody says, I mean, well, I won't say everybody. Push has always said that Malice is better than him. 
Yeah. And that's always been an argument, even in the streets, because it's like, no way. Because Push has been on our face for so long, and we know how good Push is. You know what I mean? Right. But when you once when Push said that, I kind of went back to these records and be like, let me go see why Malice is better than Push, if Push is saying all this. Right. Push may have a point, bro. <laughs> he might have a point. Hey, man, and, I, I wouldn't disagree. And, and the record I really go back to, honestly, is uh, Mr. Me Too. Want to know the time better clock us? Yeah. It was about the styles from the shoes to the watches. We cloud hoppers. <laughs> Some uh, term of suits. Like, no, come on, man. Like, Yeah, bro. Break down keys and the dimes are selling like gobstoppers. Who going to stop us? Not a goddamn. <laughs> <sighs> Malice, man. Listen, that's shout what, out to. That's what we call effortless, right? Effortless, bro. Um, all right, man. So. And, oh, another key thing, too. Push, so the intro when I first heard it, mind you, I was at work, I was listening to this album with no headphones, and I was very disappointed. I was hurt because I was like, I can't listen to this yet. But the intro, Brambleton, and hold it, I know I know what y'all may think. This may sound like a super hot take, but when I first heard the beat, it instantly brought me back to Hell Hath No Fury. Mm. Let that sink in. <laughs> Cause everybody knows Hell Hath No Fury by the Clips Five Mike album From the source Very crazy Lyrical Like come on now But when I heard that beat That's what I That's what I instantly came back to Some people may be like Marcus you hyping it Or Mozzie you Sorry Mozzie you hyping it Cool Your opinion That's where it, That's just where it took me to mm. But With that being said My rating for this album Push a T. It's almost dry. This could get five chicken strips. I'm gonna just say it. This get this is a this is a, a total five piece, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Push the T. I mean, who did y'all really expect anything less? Let's be real. Five piece chicken strip. It's almost dry. Highly recommend it. Y'all check that out on all DSPs everywhere. Let's get that album to number one and let them know that Coke, that luxury Coke rap is still here. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm out of control. All right. And then the second album that uh the streets is kind of tuning into. Real player like Scrubs, this is your bag. Come on, man. I, I like Pusha T, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I gave that three runs. Sure. But blast. Before, before you, you go. Before you go. That shit's still in the deck right now. Come on, like, man. That shit just stays on repeat. Oh. That album is crazy. It is a it is a vibe, man. As I call it, gangster love shit. Gangster love, bro. That's that's what it is. It's a super cool bop, man. And you can just look cool, play with your girl in the whip. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If you single out here, you can blast, blast with the windows down. Oh, see, see what I did there? You can blast it with the uh, blast. Uh, uh, wow. Hey, you used to rap, bro. <laughs> listen, man. Listen. I'm kind of nice with the wordplay. I'm starting to realize that. Come on, man. Um, But yeah, man, this album is incredible. Uh, my favorite record on here is Pick Your Poison. Yeah. Okay. That's, listen, even with the little violin breakdown, super hard. Um, but yeah, this album is incredible. The drummer Ross is dope. Um, man, incredible, incredible, incredible project. Um, definitely recommend it to people that are fans of R&B and uh, definitely looking for something cool to listen to and have a bop to. This this is the album. This is the project for me. Um, Screws, you got any uh record breakdowns? I'm pretty sure you got you get this more spins than I have. I nah, know I know that for a fact, bro. Nah, I definitely I definitely gave it hella spins, bro. But pr- like fake love in L. A. is probably the joint that you've been obviously to L. A. Yes, bro. it's just there's no place like it. Right. You know what I mean? So if right. you've never been, there's not one thing someone can say to explain it to you. Mm-hmm. So hearing that song, it's just like, bro, it's. I got it. You know what I'm right, saying? It's almost a, a tour guide. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just, yeah, bro. Like, I really fuck with that. That joint. Every good girl, too. Yeah. It, it seems like there's a heavy L.O. Cool J absolutely, around the way girl influence, absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, man, bro. That's hard. It's a hard record. Uh, and fun fact. Yeah. I, he was on uh, Bootleg Kev recently. hmm This man said that he still records on his Scarlet 2i2. Like, he did Chosen on there. Wow. And 
and then he still uses that shit. He uses the same mic I got and all kinds of shit. So if I, if I was a kid, I heard that I'm like, dog, I could do that. I could do this. You know what I'm saying? It's just about effort and, and persistency. Yes. And all, you know what I'm saying? All that yes. shit. And yeah, that's wild, bro. yeah, bro. So I thought that was super dope, man. Yeah, I man. thought that was very dope. Oh so, shoot! So there's literally no excuse. Yeah, there's no excuse for anyone out there trying to get it and do yeah. what they do. So, uh, yeah, man, that it's super dope, bro, for sure. For sure, man. Um, <clears throat> so the ranking for blast. Before you go. Listen, man, back to back. Just give me the ten piece, dog. Hey, Another hey, five piece. You know what I mean? Straight, straight up and up down. down. Wow. I ain't gonna front. It was a little dry out here. It was for release. Musically, yeah, honestly, it was the only one that kind of held it down for me personally. Fabio. See, I mean, I gave it a uh, see one. I don't really dig drill music. Gotcha. Or whatever. I, right. It's yeah, music. yeah, that's the drill music, huh? I don't really dig it to begin with, but I gave it a run. Mm-hmm. And it had his, it had his moments, but it's just, it's the, it's like. <laughs> Hot take. Go ahead. Drill music reminds me of reggaeton. Really? Because it's the same. Same production. Uh, same it's, beat. It's the same, same beat. Same drum pattern. Same drum pattern, exactly. And eventually it's going to. I hear you. It's just a matter of how you flex it now. For a while, everything was reggaeton. Yeah. Everything you, would, everything you heard. Come on, bro. Yeah. That's a fact. Now it's the. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, and then just a matter how you make the eight ways there, you know. Yeah, exactly. I, I already know. Exactly. Yeah, now so you're right. Not, and not to take anything away, it's the young vibe, the young sure. kids or whatever. But it's it's. Uh, I mean, not a lot of people jamming crunk music either right now. Nah, not at all. It's a wave. It's yeah, a, it's a wave. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I heard it though. I thought it was cool. It's not. Nah, it has been dry musically, man. I, I ain't gonna. Yeah, same. But right now, we in a good space with this push and. Uh, oh my bad. Uh, real quick, go for it. Ramona Park broke my heart. Vince Staples. Vince Staples. That shit held me down before Blast, before Pusha. That shit was getting all the spins. If you haven't already heard Vince Staples, that, oh my God. Plus, he's fucking hilarious. He's hilarious. But it's crazy, man. He's like an uber talented individual, but, yeah. but musically, and to my understanding, he don't even really fuck with music like that. Nah, I think he's just. I think he just does it because the homies told him how dope he was, right. and he was just like, "I, I guess, like, right. yeah, cool." So, I mean, I, if you haven't already heard it by now, Magic uh, with Vince Stables featuring um, DJ Mustard, or I think he goes by Mustard now. Right, great video, by the way. Yes, <laughs> great video, <laughs> great video. So, but yeah, that one, that one too, man. If you haven't already heard it, for sure, Big Flames. And another album that dropped this, uh, this actually just, uh, well, last week as this comes out. Mm-hmm. And Fisher, so come on. You know I think, what I mean? And I think we can play some of this. Everything we just mentioned, we couldn't play. We couldn't play like YouTube. Cause yeah, exactly. But I think we can get away with some Ann Fisher. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So we gonna drop a clip right now. Yeah. Uh. So this yeah. one had to come down to, huh? Right now. When you try to rap over some shit, you know it's about to be some shit. Check it. Yo. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Look. Uh. Spent the last couple years steady going at rappers. Now they all know what's happening. Seems that I'm the only one that's up in the standards. Niggas talking competition, must be talking acting. That's all y'all do is acting. Now y'all moving backwards like y'all Michael Jackson. I guess all the moves just wasn't lasting. And all that dick riding you doing got the city laughing. Yeah, we laughing at you. See, this a game of passion and none of you niggas have it. Just us down. None of y'all had that shit. shit. Nah. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. At the ball with my low saying we the best with this rapping. Could give a fuck about your factions, nigga. Overbooked. Still I'm overlooked. So much blood, sweat, and tears in these notebooks. Listen, man. Come on, bro. And Fisher really popping on. Nah, he talking his shit on here, man. Listen, man. He, he going crazy. Again, bro. And and mind you, for those that don't already know, this is, Ann Fisher is originally from here. No, if he's size finest. Now, Fees doesn't currently reside here, but where nah. he's at, he represents where he's from. For sure. So, shout out to that. And to, and to his point that he's made to us before, that, you know, if you're here representing here, like, it don't make, really make sense. Right. If you go out and about and represent, do your thing. That's a different story. So. Word. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, hard to love is easy to hate. And Fisher, 
the more you know. Come on. <laughs> and Fisher, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Out on all DSPs right now. Big salute to my guy. Facts. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can get you on the show one day. Next time you visit the city, got you a spot right here, G. Let's talk. Absolutely. So, also, <clears throat> kind of big week for a, uh, well, I won't say big week, but month, really. Yeah. Movies and TV. The one that the one that kind of had the streets talking was Batman. I mean, all right. <laughs> wow. Fucking. Wow. God damn it. Wow. Rudy go. <laughs> Rudy go come up bro, here now. <laughs> I hope he does, bro. <laughs> No, I just get, bro. It's a good movie. It's a good movie, but the way he explains it, and it's a very good movie. It's yeah. shot beautifully, yeah. right? It's, it's from a cinematography standpoint, perspective yes. and standpoint. Like it's amazing, amazing. But I fell asleep twice, <laughs> wow. and it's just like I, I don't know, man. It's maybe, and I think his response would be like, "I'm conditioned to like Marvel shit because it's gotcha. like, you know, it's a lot of fanfare, kind of like." You know, Explosions and shit, but right, but bro, it's like I, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to see Batman, like you know what I'm saying. Put some hands on people, I, the, bro. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, what's the joint? The Dark Knight, Dark Knight, the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, favorite fucking Batman, Batman movies ever. Yeah, perfect combination of dialogue and like beat the brakes off you right For now. For sure, yeah, crazy shit happening. Blah blah blah. Shout out to uh, Christopher Nolan. You know what I'm saying? He's yes. the director of of, all, of that trilogy. Yes. But I feel like there's never going to be another Batman to that level. Mm-hmm. Fight me on it. But yeah, bro. Like I know you watched it. Yes, I did watch it. Uh, very dialogue heavy. Um, but I will say this. Robert Pattinson did a pretty doggone good job as Batman. I ain't going to hold you. Because there was true. a lot of talk like, yo, yeah. Edward from Twilight, him is Batman. I'm not trying to see a, a diamond chest Batman out here in Gotham trying to, you know what I mean? But if you think about it, that's that that's the definition of a come up. Nah, straight up. You go from a, a glittery vampire to a, <laughs> to the Batman. You know to the Batman. Like, yeah. yeah, that's definitely breaking a stereotype or For a typecasting, sure. you know what I mean? Plus, he's a good actor. Very good. I don't know if you've seen some of his other flicks, but like he's... Like his his he has chops. Like he knows how to act for real. So yeah. I thought he was dope in it, man. But you know what my only my only real beef was though? Let's hear it. Falcone. Yeah. How the fuck do you have my guy from Transformers MI6, whatever the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Secret what is it? Remember that shit? Right, I remember Secret, that. Secret Sector Six with it. Right. He's just such a I like him. I like uh I'm I can not I can't remember his name, but like the the actor's name, but he I like him. He's yeah. cool, but just if you know Falcone that he's a mobster, ass, mobster like, and yeah. he, he ain't come off that way too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's dope. It's all right. Yeah. Shout out to Zoe Kravitz, though. She. Yes. But, but that, that was Zoe Kravitz, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't want to mix it up. But yeah, she uh, killed it as Catwoman. Yeah, no, nah, she, um, she definitely did her thing on it. Yeah, she she did her thing. Um, it's crazy because I thought the. <laughs> it was funny because my, my daughter shot the little Mozzie. Um, <laughs> she was explaining to my wife, like, how come? Because my wife was asking, how come Batman and Catwoman just don't be together? My daughter talking about they have a situation ship. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they do, and from a young person's perspective, that's what it is. It's that's toxic. A, right? It's toxic. It's toxic, but it's the best situation ship you could probably ever see. If you want a definition of a situation ship, just watch Batman and Catwoman just interact with each other. Right. And it's so toxic, but it it is what it is with them. Yeah, they <laughs> Catwoman goes on a heist. Batman's like, "What you doing?" They throw hands and, hey, then, and then they kiss. Doing, and they yeah. kiss later. Like, <laughs> hey, you ain't got me doing all that, <laughs> right? <yeah. laughs> you, you, right? Hey, you know you ain't got to do this, right? <laughs> you ain't got to do this, right? <laughs> She's like, what? "She's sitting there trying to throw hands," and Batman was just like, "Come here!" <laughs> he grabs yeah. her by her waist and pulls her in close. Yeah, bro, that's that's not. That's, <sighs> I can totally see young people watching that. And be like, I, I want that. I want that. Oh yeah, you, you you see the little comic strip memes that they posted of Bad, Batman and Catwoman kissing and in the rain and all that, that's and that's goals to them. <laughs> I guess. Bro. I guess. Have at it. Um, but uh. I guess my review for Batman, uh, or the Batman, excuse me, mm-hmm. aka Vengeance. Y'all catch the reference if y'all watch it. Um, I give it a three and a half. Three and a half chicken strips. Uh, three and a half chicken strips. Three and a half and a nugget. I yeah, give yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, three and a nugget. I'll give it two churches chicken strips. 
Yikes. If wow. You ever, if you ever been to churches. Yikes. Um, that's tough. Well, I, I, I let the churches over there on, on Kenyan Golf and Wilderness Oak. Shout out to Stone Oak. They take care of you over there. Um, <laughs> especially if you get them spicy. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I think this movie was cool. I think I think people should go and watch it. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it's dialogue heavy and be, be prepared to sit for three hours. This is a long movie. Like I said, I went. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, on the TV show side, to me personally, the TV show that's taking over the streets right now because it's the only thing that's good with the Lakers. Winning time! I swear, yo, I swear to God. Yo, this show is so good. That's the only thing y'all winning right now. It's the only bro. thing we're winning right now, bro. Cause now, you know I hate the Lakers, bro. Yeah. I hate them. I've always hated them. I don't even... There's nothing about them that I like at all <laughs> till, till now. Right. Till their stories being told. And, and, of, and, of course, they got the whole, like, some stuff was, you know, changed and all that shit. Yeah. I'm just going to assume everything was legit. Right. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> Magic was wild. Magic bro. was outside, bro. Like, you talk about someone that was outside. Listen, y'all kids talk about y'all outside. No, Magic was outside. Fam, this man... <laughs> Yo, he was, bro. He's, yeah, doing, you, a, he's he, doing a cleanup right now on Apple TV <laughs> with bro, his own show. Every time I see him now, like the real magic, I'm looking at him like, you dirty, In dirty disgust, guy. right? Like, ew. You dirty boy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you dog. Yeah. <laughs> and, and shout out to John C. Riley, man. I, boy, he can act. Yeah, man. A lot of people think he's the guy from Step Brothers and and uh, Ricky Bobby and right. Nah, man. He's Doctor Bus now. He's Doctor Bus. He's Doctor Bus, man. Yeah, he's, he's killing Bus. it. So yeah, super super dope show, man. If y'all haven't already watched it, definitely tune in. If you've literally haven't watched it, you bro, you can binge watch it right now. You can binge watch it right now, and, um, and it's gonna be a treat for sure. Shout out to Adrian Brody too. He's killing Pat Riley right now, bro. <sighs> bro come on, man. Come on, man. And this is Bummy Pat. Right. This isn't Mobster Pat. Nah. This not yet. Not yet. I mean, there's times where you see him slick the hair trying back a little, to, trying to right. look for his which, image. Which I'm not going to say how that came about, but how they're explaining it, how that came about, hard. Hard body, Hard, bro. hard. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. Again, this is the Lakers. I hate these fuckers, guys. Yeah. You know, I hate them. Right. But watching this, it's a dope show. It's a, it's a dope show. Very incredible. Um, Skrills also was trying to be funny. He was like, yo, let's see a Spurs. <laughs> No, not you. I'm sorry. I think I think you you suggested like if if, a, if the Spurs one came out, it wouldn't be as good as the Lakers. You know what? I I would tune in to PBS and watch that shit. <laughs> I would tune in, bro. I, <laughs> I would tune in to PBS Plus and watch that shit, bro. PBS Plus, the Spurs. Because it's fucking gang. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but, my God. But it ain't no winning time, the bro. The fact that the Spurs show will be on PBS Plus is hilarious, <laughs> dog. That's hilarious. And nobody wants to see the, the rise of Peter Holt obtaining the Spurs. Let's be real. I don't care. <laughs> I, I mean, don't care. I mean, listen, I care. But <laughs> but I have to care because I'm about it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I kind of got the gist of it, though. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. He bought it. No, that I we I, if you're a real true Spurs fan, you kind of get the gist of how it came right. into his hands because he was actually part of a of a group that bought the Spurs. Right. And he ended up as a majority owner. But anyways, yeah, nah, I, just, I would love to watch it or get something, but like ain't much to tell. Bro. Ain't much to it's tell. It's not man. the Lakers, though. Nah, it ain't. It was, I will. Watch, I would like to watch maybe like a you know on the other side of that maybe the Boston. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Red Arbach and all them, and, right? To yeah. get to get their perspective, but honestly, bro, I really can't think of any other other team in the league that you can get a show of that of that caliber. Right. I mean, not the, an NBA show, at least. Maybe football. Cowboys would be fun. Right. Cowboys would be the Cowboys one. is the equivalent of that in yes. the NFL. Yes. But yeah, nah, bro. Like. Nah, you can't be winning time right now. Nah, you can't be winning time, man. Shout out to the guy playing Larry Bird. Yo, Larry Bird is an <laughs> asshole, bro. Like, <laughs> and, and and it's still fuck Boston on mine. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> As a Laker I'm fan, you, like, it I, is. You know what? I'm with you because it's fun to say. It's fun to say. You can, you can they portray the hate of that city and team. <laughs> so be- perfectly, Beautifully, bro. bro. Just Be- fuck 
Boston. Ah, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes. So absolutely, but they're sure. they're doing great in the playoffs right now. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, and, yo, and on the currently flip, right now. <laughs> yes, and on the flip side, shout out Boston, bro. Because yo, my man Jason Tatum. Oh man, and the thing about Tatum is. That's a Kobe tree player, Absolutely. bro. Absolutely. He's been touched by Kobe. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? In that sense. Yes. Kobe Angel. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. He, he got him out there on some. Kobe got some kids out here in the league, yes, bro. Absolutely. He got some kids, man. You can see them. And they're flourishing. Oh, yeah. Booker, DeMar. Morant. Taylor, Morant. Just a few. You know what I'm saying? Just to name a few for sure. Sheesh. Um, man. Um. Did I give a review? Did I give, did I give my review for winning nah, time? Nah. What is it? I mean, I, Oh, it's I a five-piece. Come on, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. a five. It's 20-piece. I agree. You know yeah, what I mean? I five chicken strips. Five, five, five chicken strips, man. Hot. For sure. Or as a, the, the Peach Chicken Shack. Oh, that's a good point, dog. We're going we're gonna to rename this segment the, the, the Peach. The Peach Chicken Shack. Peach Chicken Shack. Review. Yep. Yeah. Or, or, the, yeah, or the movie music review sponsored by Peach Chicken. There you Ooh, go. Ooh, listen, Pete, y'all watching. Come on. Is it cool if we can use that name? Absolutely. I'll bro. pull up on y'all and ask y'all in a few. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> they know they know where, where we at. Um, listen. Um, also, upcoming content. Um, you got anything coming up besides the the slow death of the tattoo? <laughs> um, yeah, man, we got a uh, MRL. Yes, that's coming back. It was you know as you said before, it was it was kind of a a, a skit just. Going back into our childhood, yeah, and now and now I think we're gonna make it a full blown thing, yeah. So if you're from here, locally, and you think you got a dope video and whatnot, hit us up, please, please. You know, we'll but, definitely check it out. But just so you know, we ain't we ain't going local with it, nah. So don't feel away. Yeah, because because the crazy thing is. Yes, if y'all are here in the city, y'all got some dope stuff. Send it through, please. But don't think y'all are the only ones that's. Competing to send stuff in No Cause we just look For dope Video Dope music Well Mozzie does Yeah <laughs> Well Mozzie does <laughs> Cause he curates all this Yeah for so sure if you got beef Listen man I don't know what to tell you Just get good <laughs> Yay hey, That's good. it GG's get, get, get good I don't get know good. what to tell you Um But yeah man I think wrap it up So real quick You told me you finished up Full Metal Alchemist Listen bro Or season one of Full Metal Alchemist you doing the head? <laughs> Come on, dog. Nah, years ago, I saw that shit on like Cartoon Network or whatever uh, it was, and I was like, no. Yeah. And the closest I got to anime was Dragon Ball Z, which I fucked with, still fuck with. Uh huh. But I saw that years ago, and I just heard a little kid's voice in a big ass like metal suit. Right. Change it. <laughs> nope. Right. Nope. Nope. And, nope. And then re- recently, I just saw uh, the first season, and if you've seen it, it's I don't know if there's other sagas. Yes, there I, is. Okay, so this but this was a dwarf in a flask, right? And uh, yeah, dog, that shit was hard, bro. Listen, it's, that's it's my, it's my it's my it's my favorite. Bet. Full Metal Alchemist is I my favorite anime that. out, man, just because of the storyline and the. The the tale of two brothers. Yes, bro. Really doing this out here, man. And, and above all, they fuck with each other heavy. Bro. Heavy family to the utmost, man. And they look out for each other Absolutely. through and through, battling the the seven deadly sins, which was crazy. Crazy. Bro. Like it's man. just yeah, man. If you've seen it, you know what time it is. And uh, yeah, bro, I fuck with the Elric brothers, yo. They're dope. Come on, they're man. dope, man. They're dope. Shout out to Winry. You know yeah, saying? she she was holding them down. Yeah, down, bro. Like she reminded me of that homegirl that like, because I had you know growing up you have friends and then there's always like maybe a girl that hangs hangs out with y'all kind for of for sure. Shit. Yeah, and you remember bro, there was always that like two homies that are like brothers if not they are brothers. Right. I like that dynamic because that there was even one point where they both like reached out to her on some want to be with me shit. Exactly. <laughs> and she was like, "Nah, I'm good. I'm good on both of them, right? To both of them <laughs> for the best reason, right? They were short. <laughs> <laughs> Which every female that's like that's their thing is that's a high requirement. Yeah, it's like, yo, exactly. you got to be at least yeah. And then the little bro ends <laughs> up getting in the suit and it's like, yo, yeah, what's nah. up? <laughs> nah, it ain't it. Yeah, but, but uh, dope, man. Really dope. Good, good suggestion on that. No, nah, for sure, man. Um, yeah, man. I, I think, I think that's about it. I don't have. You have anything else? You got any more announcements? Nah, man. Just uh, 
you know, thank you to everyone who's tuning in. Yes. Everybody is supporting, man. We're getting a lot of support from people we know, especially some we don't. So thank you for all that. And we're just going to keep continuing doing what we do. For sure. And um, I guess on, on my end, y'all will see us out on Media Day for the Brawl, yes. Brawl Wall um, event, Brawl Off Broadway. Uh, we'll be out there May 11th. And then, uh, of course, you know, Still get your tickets. Is, is it sold out? Is Brawl Wall sold out? Last I checked, I think they literally had, like, either a few tickets or maybe some VIP tables. But, like, right now is where you got to go. You got If you're going to go, you got to go right you got, now. Yeah, you got to go now. You got to go now and get your tickets now because we will be out there doing our thing. Um, if you see us, say what's up, man. Please. Please say what's up. Uh, May 21st. That's the date. May 21st for Brawl Wall. Be sure to get your tickets now. And then May 22nd yep. is the Davies Entertainment Collab. Boy, Shout out to Dank. I already listen, got man. my kicks ready, boy. What pair, what pair of sketches you get? Come on, dog. Listen, dog. These joints. So I recently came across them. And I just got to say, heavy early 2000 vibes. You know what I'm saying? Dead stock. They dead stock? You haven't opened them yet? No. You haven't worn them? No. They still got that little crunchy paper with the S on it. Shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you <laughs> wearing sketches to a sneaker event is nuts. Oh, on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Listen, but they they know if they know you, they know us. They understand. Uh, me, what am I gonna wear? Listen, man, all money in. That's all. That's all. That's the only hint I'm gonna give them. Okay. Rest in peace, Nip. Marathon continues. Y'all just have to see that day and see what I'm gonna wear out there. Ah, uh, I think I know what. You know what I mean? Okay. Very exclusive. Um, tune into the Victory Lap album, y'all understand, or do your homework and you will understand. If it's shoe related, y'all y'all do the math. For sure. But until then, like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Mozzie's World, the recap. Um, we're gonna try to do this on a monthly basis to recap all the episodes. Uh, be sure to visit nineclouds.com for your apparel needs and to get the Mozzie's World shirt, Mozzie. 22 is the new promo code. Be sure to use that in the uh, at checkout for 10% off. Uh, be sh- uh, shout out to Davies Entertainment, the Pod Damn It Network, uh, Hi Fi, and shout out to us, man. I'm gonna be honest. Shout out to the OCD Creates. You Absolutely, know what I mean? Man. Uh, we do we do things over here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, podcast, YouTube, all that good stuff. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace. So focused, I just need some meaning to my name. Plus, I'm cheating with these codes. If you think it's a game, that's real talk. Man.